Welcome back. We are here in Natchitoches at the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame, and we're joined by the headliner of the class this year, Eli Manning. Eli, just what is it like, and, and how does it feel to be going into the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame? Uh, well, it's a great honor just sitting here looking at some of the, the great names and athletes uh, from Louisiana that are, are that are in the Hall of Fame, and to be a, amongst uh, this great group uh, is, is really special. Uh, obviously, growing up in, in New Orleans and in, in my childhood and playing sports here and, and to join my my dad and my, and my brother who uh, have been inducted already it, it's a it's a great honor you spent a little bit of time in Shreveport twice in your college football career coming up for the Independence Bowl which is do you have any memories from playing in that game you know just just a great time I think the bowl games are such a great time to to bond with your teammates uh, you get to come here and and spend a week and go out to dinner with them go to events uh, and it's just you're kind of away from everybody else. It's just a football team. You're in a hotel. You're eating every meal together, and so just the great, the great bonding. Uh, you know, I came in my, my freshman year. I was here, and then I came back uh, my sophomore year and, and or my junior year actually, and and uh, was able to get a win against Nebraska. So uh, that was a great experience as well. Talk to me a little bit about uh, the Manning cast. It's kind of a cultural phenomenon right now around uh, the NFL. Um, just how did that come about for you guys? Well, I think it started just with, uh, you know, Peyton was retired a little bit before me where, you know, neither of us wanted to maybe you know, necessarily get into broadcasting just because of the uh, being gone for 22 weekends a year uh, all around the country. You know, we both had young kids, wanted to be around our kids and be involved in their sports and their lives. And so um, all of a sudden, you know, we kind of had the opportunity where Peyton presented it to me with, um, you know, would you want to do it? Uh, you know, you could watch a football game from your house, sitting at your own couch, and I would be in Denver, and you could just, you know, make fun of me a lot. And I said, that sounds like a lot of fun. I, I do that anyway, so might as well do it on TV. But uh, it, you know, it keeps me involved in the game of football, uh, which I love. I get to watch film and and uh, you know, get to work with my brother, and, and so it's uh, it's great doing that. Who's better, Eli the player or Eli the youth coach? <laughs> I hope the player. I hope the player. Youth coach. I'm just uh, having fun. It's really about just being being with my kids, being with some of their friends, getting to know them, uh, trying to teach them some life lessons that, that I learned playing sports. Uh, trying to in, instill some of those lessons in, into uh, a few of my kids. We only got about 20 seconds. Chad Powers, how did that come about? Uh, I just, you know, I was trying to get my COVID year of eligibility left in college football. You know, I redshirted five years. I figured everybody else was getting this sixth year. I wanted to try to do it. So I went in undercover as Chad and tried out for Penn State, but uh, they busted me. Awesome, Eli. Thank you so much for doing right, this. Thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs>